Hi, good morning. Actually, it's afternoon in uh, Nova Scotia. Uh, this is Vaughan Smith at westcoatbellpottery.ca. Um, this is part two of a glaze experiment that I'm doing uh, where I have mixed up strontium crystal magic, uh, which is supposed to enhance just about any glaze you put over it. So I've read on the internet. So I have done probably a, I don't know, a couple hundred pieces maybe. I've got lots of little bowls, just small rice bowls basically, um, and I've also got a whole bunch of little drinking glasses um, and tea bowls uh, behind over there. I've got a whole bunch of tea bowls as well, just small little tea bowls and all that. So these have all, as you saw in part one, been dipped with strontium crystal magic. Um, and it's basically a very high titanium di dioxide glaze, uh, which is, forms crystals. Um, but uh, it basically, it's a very matte glaze, I'll show you. Uh, all of these are strontium crystal magic on their own. This is a speckled clay. And basically, the speckles in the clay seem to run down a lot because the glaze runs a lot. This is on a white B-Mix Laguna Clay Company, and it ran so much that it actually stuck to the kiln shelf on this one. So you really can't glaze right to the foot with this glaze. And it's also very dry, very matte. You can feel it's almost like a stone. So basically, I don't think it's food safe for a start um, and uh, this is the speckle again now I did I mixed both the regular strontium crystal magic and a warm version um, and there's not that much difference between them but you can see this one didn't run because I didn't glaze it as far down so it didn't stick to the shelf and this is this is the warm version and this is the cool version. So there is a little difference, like it's more white for the actual cool version. I kind of prefer the warmer version. Um, and this one I didn't glaze to the foot, so it didn't run down this either. So it's not running a huge amount, but it does run. But it's dry. My problem with it is it's dry. So I feel like I wouldn't use it as a food glaze. Um, but it's a beautiful glaze. It has a really nice, sort of glow and it breaks at the edges so you do have that kind of variation in the glaze which i hate glazes that look plastic you know just totally they sometimes have a lot of tin in them and they'll make a glaze look really plastic um, but anyway um i have glazed all these pieces over there and behind me here with this strontium crystal magic uh, and i've done it in such a way that i can get three colors on a piece so if you're going to do this, you can use little tiles, test tiles, and that's faster. Uh, but I, you know, I, I like making lots of little drinking glasses, little bowls, because I think people can never have too many little bowls and drinking glasses. Um, so what I'm going to do, we'll start with one of them, uh, and I'm going to use my licorice glaze. Um, no, actually, I'll use tomato red. That's right. I've got uh, ketchup red, tomato red. I took off the internet as well. Um, this piece, if you notice, has been glazed to the upper half on the outside and upper half on the inside. And I showed that in the last video. So this time, I'm going to use uh, tongs. Let's see, what should I use the tongs? Um, you know, I think I'll just use the my fingers again, but I'll do it in such a way that I'm going to splash the glaze up on the inside and that way it'll be a little more irregular so I think that will make the glaze more appealing as well so this is ketchup red which the the recipes are on the internet I found it on the internet and I think some people call it tomato red but uh, it's also called ketchup red so I'm going to glaze it by going like this and then like that and it will splash on the inside so it will be overlapped a little bit on the very center of the piece. And then I'm going to hold it down to the foot almost, just in case it runs. Uh, so I'll leave the foot bare. 
And then I'm going to dip the very edge in my oatmeal glaze because that always enhances the glazes anyway. So there'll be like three layers on this. I'll show you in a second. So that's what it did the first time. Then the second time. And then as it, as it levels out the glaze, I'm holding it in, taking it almost to the foot, lifting it out. It's still dripping. Now I always like to double dip before it gets dry, but I like to see it just go a little matte. Now I'm gonna hold it just at a slight angle first and then level it in the oatmeal. So I have now got, actually I should have stirred that one up a little bit. There you go. It's a little watery. I'm going to go in a bit more. There we go. So what I've done is that. So I'm going to have pure tomato over there, tomato over strontium crystal magic there and oatmeal over tomato and strontium crystal magic at that edge there and it, if it stops dripping we'll have the same on the inside a little bare spot with tomato red then the tomato red there and then the oatmeal over the top of all of the other two on the top um, and that'll give me an interesting kind of variation on the glaze plus it was splashed a couple of times so uh, that should help the glaze have some interest all right my job is to spend the next two hours or more mixing all these glazes up because I have about 20 to 30 glazes that I'm going to have to mix up just to glaze three pieces in each glaze. But I will follow up with a video showing all the colors probably in about three, four days. Uh, and um, hopefully it'll be an interesting video so it might go on a little longer. But this is short. Alrighty, so glazing is addictive. So be careful, you should try doing something like this because once you do this, there's like so many layers you can do and so many variations of glazes on top of each other that you can spend the rest of your life just playing with this. I mean, it's one of those things, it's, it's an addiction, I think. And, um, but it's like, out there, I have two or three glazes I haven't discovered yet that I already have made right here, but I just haven't tried layering them in the right way and it might be magic, but we don't know because that's the problem. That's why we're addicted because we just know the next one will be the one. All right. So, well, good luck with your glaze experiments. I hope this will be helpful for you. This is Vaughan at Westco Bell Pottery in Canada. Uh, just let me know if you have any questions. Right, bye.